Yes, yes, weighing in with Dave Caldwell. Dave, we're here with Lara. What did you make of it, man? Um, what a fight. What a fight to start off with. What a fight. Um, lived up to his expectations. Um, and I thought Lee was, was for most of the fight, functioning really, really well. I thought he controlled the fight, controlled the distance. Really, really educated. Um, and unfortunately made a mistake. Was the um, towel thrown in too early or was it the right call? For me, it was a perfect call because when he, he went down there, but when he got up, his legs weren't right. And I know people, I'm, I'm hearing people say, oh, there's only 10 seconds left. It takes a split second to put somebody in hospital. It takes a split second for somebody to have a really bad, really finding knockout, you know? Um, so I back Ben with that, you know, regardless of how many seconds are left on the clock. Um, he made a judgment call on based on, on Lee's safety. Uh, so fair play to him. Do you think he was winning the fight up until yeah. that point? How were you scoring? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, a, a, a couple of rounds, he, he, especially early doors, he, he, he got a little bit carried away with um, exchanging at the same time. And when he were exchanging at the same time, he'd get caught. Um, get caught with his chin up. Um, but then he settled down and he got behind his lead hand, he got behind his distance, he was controlling the space, he was walking Laura onto shots and he was breaking him up, breaking him down and I thought he, I thought he boxed really, really well. He just made, he made the mistake of, of, of trading hooks with a hooker, you know, <laughs> and, and, and he, he, he drops his hand positioning just for that fraction as he throws it, which is what happens as rounds go on, you can, you know, can make those mistakes, his concentration, um, tiredness, fatigue starts creeping in. Uh, and he got, he, he was made to pay for it. And that, that's what happens when you're in with a, a big puncher. Obviously he's got the rematch clause. Yeah. Um, what would, if you was, if you was his manager, what would you advise? Would you go straight for the rematch? Would you want to maybe have a tune up and then go into a different big Lee, fight? Lee's, Lee's 33, um, suffers from injuries, um, is at that stage of his career where, it, where it, he's not looking at having loads of fights. Um, there's a Warrington fight which is massive, always going to be massive. But there's a fight there where he was fully in control and where he knows he can beat that man. So a rematch is huge. Um, he'll probably want to go for a rematch knowing Lee. Mm. Um, so. I, yeah, that's that's probably the. the and Dave, just a few thoughts on the, the rest of the card. Gary Cully was a was a stand up. Outstanding. I think he's great. I really enjoyed watching him. Um, he's somebody that I, when I go to a show, I want to make sure that I'm I'm in my seat to watch. Um, I mean, he's freakishly huge for the weight, but he's so talented and punches so hard. I mean, again, another destruction in there tonight. Um, He's, he's a very, very good fighter. Really, really good fighter. Um, um, yeah, definitely somebody that's exciting to watch. Dave, um, let's put tonight to the side um, and let's talk about what happened on Twitter a few days ago. Um, it kicked off Twitter? Between, <laughs> between you yourself and Isaac Lowe. Um, he said there's no sign of you or Jordan wanting to get the fight. All right, let, 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 let me get this straight. I said it on my Twitter, right? After the Eubank fight, I think it was, um, I'm walking around, going from the bar, and Isaac Lowe's there, and he jumps all over me, starts talking about, shouting in my face about about Jordan Gill this, Jordan Gill that, you know what, I'm like, how many times have we actually said to you, Jordan's going to come back with this fight, around April, he's going to come back at Super Featherweight, have his fight, a little late rounder to come back, and then after that, we will take the fight, not a problem. I told him about five times there, I told him before that there, I told him before that, I told his manager that before. They know that we'll take the fight, but he's just got beat, he's had loads of time out, he's, had, he's, he's, he's let himself heal, heal up, and now he's back in the gym, so he's going to come back with a little fight, and then we're going to then we're gonna go, not a problem. I told him that, but then he's tweeting the zone that, 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 that we're ducking and we're diving, I'm like, ducking and diving anywhere. So that's it. So, so I just told him it is what it is. I've told him that I've told you to your face, we'll take the fight. I've told your manager to his face, we'll take the fight. But he's going to have a fight back and then we'll take it. Yeah, just to reiterate, that fight is definitely going to happen. It's 
far as we're concerned, yeah. But it's like Isaac's always wants to just box on Tyson's undercards. Mm. So it's like he's, he's gone and done his thing. Jordan were doing his thing. Isaac's got beat. Now Jordan's got beat. Now all of a sudden he, he wants to fight. So great, crack on. But we're not just going to say, oh yeah, okay, we're we'll, we'll, we're going to take the fight next. No, that before he's he's come out and said that he wants to fight now, we've already said we're going to come back, fight a super featherweight, and it'll be around April. That's it. So he needs to chill his boots. It'll happen. Simple as that. But there's no there's no there's, there's no complex situation there. The last thing I want to ask you um, about is um, from kicking off on Twitter to kicking off at a film premiere. So Creed 3, you must have seen the video circulating between... Um, I was there, I didn't need to see the video. Oh, were you there they when it kicked off? Stood, Coley nearly stood on my feet. Wow, so what, what actually kicked off? And A lot of people were saying it was staged. Was it staged in any way? It didn't, it didn't look it, because when, actually when, when they came uh, head to head, I was like looking, I was like, oh, because I spoke to, I spoke to uh, React Foot and I spoke to um, a colleague there and I seen him, I was like, huh? And I was a little, a little boy and then it just, it just kicked off. There's a bit of, you know, when somebody gets some, somebody's face a little bit too much and then somebody reacts and that, there's a bit of a push and a bit of an argy bargy. Spencer Fearon was like getting in and saying, <laughs> and he stopped it all basically, he stopped it from, from escalating. But, but yeah, it was, it was uh, a little bit, I don't know, it was because they watched Creed and they've seen all that <laughs> fighting and they want to get involved the on the night. Rush. But listen, uh, thank you for your time, oh, as man. always, Dave. No and worries. thank you for waiting. Cheers, mate.